Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh with another tutorial on Kirio UTM. In this video, I will show you how you can access the administration panel of Kirio Control UTM and we will do the initial configurations. Let's start. As you can see that here the Kirio Control says I have to find my browser to this address so that I can access the administration panel of the Kirio Control UTM. First, I have to assign an IP address from this range that my computer can communicate with the Curio Control UTM. To assign an static IP address, open Network and Internet Settings. To open the Network and Internet Settings, press Windows R button from your keyboard and write down ncpa.cpl. Press the OK button. The Network Connections page will be opened. I have installed the Curio Control UMT in Hyper-V, so I need to assign the static IP address for the Hyper-V virtual default switch. Right click on the adapter and select properties from the right click menu. From the default switch properties, select Internet Protocol version 4 or IPv4 and then click on the properties. Choose the option Use the following IP address. Assign an static IP address from the Kirio Control UTM range. After you have assigned the static IP address, subnet mask and gateway, click the OK button. Here it gives me a warning, that's OK, I want to save the configuration, click the Yes button and then click the Close button. Now to check if your computer has communication with the Curio Control UTM server or not, open Command Prompt by typing CMD in Run and click the OK button. When the command prompt is open, type the command ping space type the IP address of the server and press the enter button. As you can see that my computer has communication with the Kirio Control UTM server. Now that my computer has communication with the Kirio Control I can access the administration panel. Open your laptop's web browser. Type https colon double slash 10.10.10.1 colon 4081 slash admin. I'm using Google Chrome and it's giving me a privacy error. If the same error comes to you, press the advance button and click on the proceed to 10.10.10.1. It says that it's unsafe, but it's okay. We know that which URL we are accessing now and it's not insecure. It is the activation wizard of the Curio Control UTM. Here you have to select the language you want to proceed with. For me, English is OK. Click the Next button. It is the End User License Agreement. Read the license. Check the option I agree with the End User License Agreement. And press the Next button. Here, Kirio Control is testing the Internet connectivity, which is required for the online activation. You can also escape the connectivity testing by pressing the escape button. If you escape, you have to import the Curio Control offline license. After you have entered the license, press the next button. I will go with the online activation. To go with the online activation, press the back button. It redirects you to the license agreement. Press the next button. Here wait until the connectivity testing is finished. There might be an issue with my internet connection. 
uh, it's okay I will register it offline later you have two options if you have a license you can select the option register offline by license file you will do it later or activate it in an unregistered mode and then upload your license file I will first activate it in an unregistered mode and then I will import my license file click activate in unregistered mode option here it will ask you to set up the time and time zone if the time and time zone does not match your clients cannot access the internet for me the date and time is okay and also select this option which says that keep the time synchronized with an internet time server it's good now click the next button Here it says that if you continue in an unregistered mode, you will not be able to use the integrated Kirio antivirus, intrusion prevention system, Kirio control web filter, application awareness, and technical support. It's okay. I will import my license offline later. Click the next button. Here it asks you that whether you want to send anonymous usage statistic reports to Kirio Control Technologies to make the Kirio Control even better or not. That's okay, I will allow the Kirio Control to send anonymous usage statistics to Kirio Technologies if you don't want and check the box. I will allow the Kirio Control to send their anonymous statistics. Click the next button. Here it asks you to set a password for the administrator user account. Here, if you want to receive alerts, select this option and enter your email address. But if you don't want to receive the email alerts, uncheck this option. I want to receive alerts, so I will leave it checked. This option will allow remote administration from my Kirio Cloud Services if it is checked. If you don't want that you can access your Kirio Control UTM from the my Kirio Cloud Services, you can uncheck it. I want to access my Kirio Control UTM from my Kirio Cloud Services. I will leave it checked. You can also change this option in the remote services settings later. Click the next button. The activation wizard is successfully finished. Click the finish button to proceed with login to the Kirio Control Administration panel. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. A sub to the channel would be awesome. Once again, this is Saifuddin Khanizada with another tutorial from Tech4All. Till next video, have a nice day.